Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be figuring out how we can determine if two vectors are equivalent, right? And so we know that vectors are equivalent, kind of meaning equal, when they have the same magnitude, which is the same length, and when they have the same direction. And that's kind of like our slope. So let's take a look at our vectors u and v. So here we have vector u, and here we have vector v. Switch those. Top one is v, and the blue one is u. So we want to know, do they have the same distance, and do they have the same slope? So these will be pretty easy to find. Let's take a look at our vector u, okay? So if we take a look at vector u, we know that we're going to need to find the distance from p to q, as well as the slope from p to q. So let's remember what those formulas are. So the distance formula is the square root of the change of x quantity squared minus the change of y quantity squared. And we see that our slope is going to be the change in y over the change in x. So either way we look at this, we need to know what is the change in x and what is the change in y. Meaning, let's subtract the x's and let's subtract the y's and let's see what we've got. So let's go ahead and let's do that with u. So remember that u has the ordered pairs and points 0, 0 for p and 3, 2 for q. So let's go ahead and let's subtract our x's and let's subtract our y's. All right, so we've got 3 minus 0 and 2 minus 0, giving us a 3 and a 2 for our change in x and our change in y. But we can go ahead and we can just plug those in. All right, so we're going to take our 3 and put that into our change of x. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our 2 and put that into our change of y's. For the distance and we're going to see that we're going to be left with the square root of 13 here. Now what about the slope? All right for slope we're going to have our 2 over our 3 and we see that that just reduces to a 2 over 3 and so here we see that we have our magnitude of u and we have our direction of u. And so now we want to look at our vector v and do the same thing. So remember that v has starting points at r of 1, 2 and ending points at s at 4, 4. And let's go ahead and let's find our change in y and x there. All right, so we see that by subtracting our x's, we're going to get a 3. And by subtracting our y's, we're going to get a 2. And so now we're ready to verify and check our magnitude and our direction by finding the slope and the distance for v. All right, so let's go ahead and we can plug in our change of x, which is 3, and our change of y, which is 2. And when we plug that into the distance formula, we see that we're going to get the square root of 13. And when we plug in our change of y, for our slope and our change of x into our slope that we are left with two-thirds. So we see that vector v has a magnitude of the radical 13 and that it has a direction of two-thirds. And so we can compare vector u and vector v and see that they have the same magnitude and the same direction. Hence we have shown that vector u and vector v are equivalent.